I'm Julia. I'm Chloe. And we're Growing Up Without Borders. And today we're visiting Zagreb, the capital of Croatia. So come along as we travel to every country in the world. So guys, we just checked in. We are right now in downtown Zagreb in Croatia, and uh, we've got this beautiful apartment right in the downtown area. So I'm gonna put a link below so you guys can check it out if you're interested. The girls are just saying, this is the first night they get a whole bunch of beds all to themselves. So it has this, and then there's a sitting area, but there's two other beds here. So this is like made for big, huge groups or large families. And this is their, I guess, dining room area. Mm -hmm. Like that, and then they have a great kitchen here. Looks like it's fully equipped. Everything we need. I know they have a few apartments. I'm not sure if all of them have a washing machine, but this one does. So that's always great. Although we're only here for a couple nights, so I don't know if we'll end up doing much laundry, but any moment we um, have that we can take advantage of getting laundry done, we do it. We had a great night's sleep and we hit the road running off to see the old town of Zagreb. very first time seeing one of these. This tells you the pressure and the temperature. Interesting. It's from 1884. Wow. Isn't that cool, girls? You see the time? It tells the time. The coordinates. We're just checking out all the different museums. So this is cool because there's a museum of Nikola Tesla, so like Tesla cars. Yeah. There's a museum of mushrooms. That's hilarious. All different kinds. History museum, Croatian museum. Of museum. Broken relationships. Okay guys, so we are right here in the city center of Zagreb. This is the main square where the locals hang out. As you can see, it's hustling and bustling. There's a beautiful farmer's market over there in a the distance. And uh, here's a little fun fact about the city of Zagreb. So this square here is called the Ban Josip Jalekcica. He was a governor at the time and he was very instrumental in merging two cities that were once divided into one city. So. Zagreb was divided at one point in the 1800s into two cities. There was Gradec and Capital. And even though these two cities intermingled, if you will, they were still divided. There was a river at the time divided, dividing them. The clergy and the cathedral were in Capital, and the tradespeople and the administration, they were in Gradec. And this gentleman here that you see up there, that guy on the horse, his name was Bon Josip Jalekicica. And he was instrumental in basically merging the two cities together and then they eventually filled in the river to make it no division in between the two. So this is the Zagreb Cathedral. It's Croatia's largest sacred building that has stood in the spot for eight centuries. It's been damaged several times by fires and earthquakes and it's quite the beautiful building to see.
This is a huge market right beside the cathedral. It's called Dolak. And it's a farmer's market with all different types of fruits and vegetables, and gifts, and basically anything your heart desires you will probably find here. It's very distinctive because it has these red umbrellas above it. Angelique, how much did you just pay for those oranges? Two dollars for two kilos. That's amazing. Just under two. It's crazy. So when you're visiting Croatia, if you're doing things like Dubrovnik or Havar or Split, the pricing is uh, apparently double or just a little bit more expensive than it would be here in Zagreb, which is very surprising considering this is their capital city, right? But the pricing here is very reasonable and I guess it's just maybe a little less touristy than those other areas. Just found this bakery with delicious pastries and quiches and a whole bunch of delicious things. Surprisingly, most places only take cash. Yeah. Angelique just found all these scales, so she was just thinking, if we stay here long enough, we can bake a bunch of baked goods and go sell it at the stands. Here we go. Here's the lady that welcomes everyone into the market. From back in the day when they used to carry it on their head. This is a traditional Croatian pastry and they put pumpkins and cheese. So we're in a bakery right beside the square. Mm, that's really good. Tastes very unique. Never tasted this flavor before. It's different. Can I try it? Mm -hmm. Chloe's is with potatoes and it is so delicious. Coffee's really good. They even give you this cute little pastry. So this is what happens when you let your kids go up and order whatever they want for lunch. They end up with minfeis and chocolate croissants. Guys, this is the smallest funicular in the world. It runs every 10 minutes, it only costs 50 cents, and it connects the lower town to the upper town. So another thing you can do is visit the World War II tunnels. There's several of them. Are your legs a little sore from yesterday? Yeah, a bit. A bit. And it's crazy because yesterday we were swimming and now we look like we went in a different season. Coats and everything. Isn't that wild? Four hours, what it could do? Yeah. 400 kilometers distance. So this tower over there is called the Zagreb 360. You can actually go up there and take a nice tour, which we'll show you soon. So this here is St. Mark's Church and St. Mark's Square. And we're trying to get the girls to go take pictures with the two guys. You know what's really cool, guys, is we picked the perfect day to be here because tomorrow is their Independence Day. So that's why you see military guys there. They're getting everything ready for their ceremony. The only last remaining this is called the stone gate. gate. Yeah, this is like the... one of the only gates that's still around. Yeah, and they made it, it's basically a chapel at the same time. So it's an outdoor chapel. So they have the strangest museum 
is here. Behind me, they have the Museum of Torture. So this is where you go up to the 360 Zagreb, and it, to go up, it's eight for an adult and 20, there's a family pass actually for 20, kids are four, and you can go up there, enjoy the view, have a drink. Here we go, here we go, 16th floor. So this is up top here at uh, 360 in Zagreb, and they have this beautiful sitting area with a nice bar, and you can enjoy the beautiful views. By this museum. No, I'm just joking. It's a museum of broken relationships. So if you want to become depressed or sad, go to this museum. This museum is actually fantastic. There's a lot that'll make you almost cry, some that'll make you laugh, some that'll make you think. It's really well worth it. And it actually won an award as one of the most innovative museums of all of Europe, which is pretty cool. So to go into the museum there is about 40 kunas for adults, which is, I'm trying to do the uh, conversion for you guys, it might change, so it's about um, 5 euros, 5, 6 euros. Look at this pretty little walkway, this is like the promenade, but you sit down and you're sitting in amongst Underwear. <laughs> never had Japanese food before, like authentic Japanese food. And so we found this place in Zagreb. So we're gonna go have authentic Japanese food here in Croatia. Here it is, it's called Restaurant Tika and we'll show you what's on their menu. To start off our dinner, we had some really yummy appetizers. We started with Tom Yang Kung, which is a Thai spice soup, spring rolls, and yakitori grilled chicken sticks with spring onion. I had a beef Asian wok. I had a tuna steak salad and sushi avocado. I had a chicken filet with ginger and shiitake. I had Asian wok with chicken and peanuts. And I also had a wok with chicken and black tiger prawns. And for dessert, we ended with vanilla ice cream with matcha, which is like green tea, but they add in the whole leaf. Yeah.
cozy in bed. There's a big room, you know, each room has a bed. special day today here in Zagreb because we are celebrating Croatian's Independence Day. We're walking towards the St. Mark's Church and where all their official buildings are and there they're going to have a ceremony so we're going to go see what it's all about. So something we just learned about is that the stone that they used to build the White House actually comes from Croatia and it's one of the whitest stones in the world. Okay, so let me just explain one more thing. So the two towns that were walled towns essentially were Gradec, which was here, and then Kaptal, which was here. And this whole area of the city didn't really exist because it's all brand new. It was always flooded. So this was the older area right here. And these two cities formed one which then became Zagreb. And Chloe has a really cool story which involves this tiny little blue dot here about how the city got its name. So outside of the two city walls there was the army and one of the generals decided to put his sword in the ground and this little girl my age saw that there was water coming out of his sword so she went up and when she scooped up the water she decided to go give it to the horses and that's how they got the name Zagreb. So this city's really good for public bathrooms. So there are some right here. They're clean, there's toilet paper, and there's still a little tiny bit of soap left. And the other one is, that we found, in case you're wondering, is where the red umbrellas were and the market. There was some right behind there. So just in case you're wondering. So just a few short, maybe a couple hundred meters away from St. Mark's uh, Square and Cathedral is where we're going right now towards the tunnels. So there's a really interesting story. So the way the tunnels work and why they were built, tell us, Julia. It's because there was this lady, well, she was called the Black Queen. She was from Slovenia and basically she wanted a tunnel from the cathedral to her palace and she wanted it big enough as well for her carriage to go through, so. So she created tunnels, but they're not just this cathedral, no, there's another actually cathedral another too. cathedral on the other side too. So they have all these tunnels and you can literally walk through them as a tourist, so. Yeah. We're hoping they're open today. We'll see. Oh, wow. And just at the entrance is an old telephone. Here we go. Inside the caves we go. So these tunnels would have been used during the World War II as well as their shelter. And there's different exits. So here, for example, you could take an exit towards the funicular or you can keep going straight. But it's pretty impressive because most cities we've visited, you have to pay to do tunnel tours or visit the undergrounds. And here you can just literally walk in and go for a tour all by yourself. So this is where you come out on the other side, right back in the heart of the downtown. So there's several areas you can go in to the city gates. You just have to know about it because if you were here walking on this street, you wouldn't necessarily know to turn in and go through a tunnel. It's pretty cool. So currently this street is hustling and bustling with different shops and souvenirs, but this street used to be the division between the two cities. So it used to be a river, they filled it in. The river still exists, but it goes underneath now, underneath this, uh, the street. If you're here and you go buy a lot of Thai stores, they're called cravatas. Cravat is a French word as well for Thai. And basically, there's a whole story behind it. This is the original style of ties. And what happened was, is the army here were wearing these ties, these cravatas. And that is where the French came and thought, these are really cool. Let's use these in our costumes, in our normal wear.
at pizza slices, and Julia just said, "What?" It's the best pizza I've had on this trip. Which is we pretty. Just got it from a bakery. And it's so which good. Which is crazy because we had a lot of pizzas mm -hmm. so far on this trip. Would it's you agree? Like, and even the salami is like pepperoni from America, almost. So it's really good. So this is one of their traditional dishes here, and it's almost like having cream cheese and like some pastry, and it's really good. Hey, do you remember what we learned about the U-shaped parts? So basically there's this whole green area, right? And the way they've designed it, it kind of goes in a U-shape. And what happens is, is the wind from the mountains come down and then it goes, like, gets kind of in a round circle stuck here where the this, U is yeah. formed with like the two parts like that go around like that. And so this whole area is like two to three degrees colder than the other areas. So it always stays a little bit cooler, which is very nice in the summer months. I just wanted to quickly show you what their train station looks like. So if you're coming by train, you're going to be getting out here. And this is the very first thing you're going to see, this beautiful U-shaped uh, square, if you will. And then the mountains behind. It's absolutely gorgeous. You know when you're craving grandma's kitchen or your mom's kitchen? We found this place in Zagreb called La Kinshka Klet and uh, we're gonna go have some yummy food. So it literally feels like you're actually going into someone's home at the same time. Yeah, isn't that beautiful? Look at, they have this little chalet here and a beautiful terrace area. I'm sure in the summer months must be absolutely gorgeous. Here we go. We started with amazing homemade broccoli soup. Really good. Guys, this restaurant's been around since 1923. It's four generations old and it's so good. Best soup I've had on the trip. Is it really? Yeah. For my main dish, I had hamburger meat wrapped in cabbage and a side of mashed potatoes. So, Angelica, what did you get? Garlic sausages, right? With cabbage and mashed potatoes. Julia got. I got. I think they said spiced meat. I think with mushrooms and mashed potatoes coming. Looks delicious. For dessert, we had amazing chocolate crepes, and they were so good. had such a lovely stay here in downtown Zagreb where we were staying with rent Zagreb was literally in the heart of it all so we were able to walk everywhere we didn't have to take our car and it was just absolutely amazing so hope you guys enjoyed the video and over and out thanks for watching our tour of Zagreb Croatia please subscribe since we'll bring you to every country in the world